WebMD was saying cancer. What the, what the fuck? So yesterday was one of those days where I just had a lot of stuff I wanted to get done and I knew it was all very intricate wiring and wiring deleting and things like that. So I didn't bother filming it. I worked all day long though. There was a literal pile of wiring left. I have stacks. Oh God. Stacks of wire that I cut out. And lots and lots of wire. And now, today, it doesn't want to start unless I give it gas and then the fuel inject it. That's no bueno. But it will run as long as I'm mashing the gas pedal a little bit. I'm starting to suspect some of these wires I cut out that ran all the way around and then around back and over to here for no fucking reason. Why didn't they run them across the dash? It seems ludicrous to me that they did that. Oh shit, mail call. Awesome. So this guy, you remove the shitty clamp off your welder and attach it to this and it's essentially just a huge magnet with a spring-loaded contact point and just clamp it right onto the metal and then you can weld have this handle to easily pry it off and oh, look at that. but then it would be uh, solid ground pretty much wherever you put it as long as it's bare metal pretty cool I think this was like 13 bucks shipped eBay anywho back to work so that I cut out my way. I cut out a shitload of wiring that went all the way around and then all the way back to the other side. It was fucking pointless. Why didn't they run it through the dash? Alright, we covered all that. Now let me get those out of here. I had these wires here and I'm kind of embarrassed to admit. I thought when I was inside, I'm checking the computer and I'm like, oh, it was the C7 connector uh, that I had cut a bunch of wires out of. So I mistakenly thought that was the connector I was dealing with, but it's actually on the side of the fuse box. And none of the fuse panel relay box diagrams online show this connector. So I was like, what the fuck? Are these wires important or not? Are they why? It's not fucking idling, especially since the C7 connector has B positive and powered mirrors and power door locks and fused headlamp relay or powered fused fused headlamp switch power comes out of it, I thought. Um, and I was like, oh, so these might be important. So I just connected them back together and then as I'm connecting them, I start realizing the wire colors, and I'm like, wait a minute, these look familiar. Like, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. These are fucking speaker wires. And then I look, and sure enough, this connector goes into this bundle that goes through the door, which, yeah. So there's probably, you know, a couple of speakers in there, or like a, a mid and a tweeter in one. Anyway, connected those. Still doesn't want to idle. Then I thought the fuel pump used to be grounded out here. And I combined all the grounds here and I just kind of like roughed up the metal. That ground might not be very good. I don't know if you have ever taken apart this wire harness that runs under the back seat in a Cherokee. Like I showed previously, there is a shitload of wires in here and they're all doubly redundant. It's kind of stupid why they would send power from one side to the other and then wires from over there go over here. It's fucking stupid. So I tried to simplify it as much as possible. I only have the reverse wires and the brake stop turn signal wires going to the back now. This is the fuel pump wiring going through and out the bottom to the fuel pump. But the ground comes back to here. So I chop out all these fucking wires and then it won't idle. It'll start if I give it some gas, but it won't idle. So I Google it. And 
I find some forums. They're like, oh, it's because your battery's low. This is the battery out of the Bel Air because I put the yellow top that was for this in the Bel Air because I did the battery relocation to the trunk. And so I was like, all right, it might be the battery. But I was like, but it starts. And that's what all the forums said. So another guy was like, the IAC may be stuck because it hasn't been running in so long or the battery being disconnected so long, the IEC needs to be cleaned. So I was like, all right, that might be it. Another forum was saying, you know, bad grounds. So I was like, all right, that's possible. WebMD was saying cancer. What the, what the fuck? So I need to make this more bare metal, I think, because maybe the fuel pump isn't receiving enough voltage at idle, and therefore it's not keeping the fuel rail primed. We'll see what happens. Holy fucking shit, I love it when I'm right. So yeah, that ground for that fuel pump has to be solid. Idles like a dream, baby. Cool. Now, on to the brake lights. So now that I have the tail lights and blinkers wired in, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this where it's gonna need to be. What do you want? You wanna be on camera, buddy? Huh? You miss being on the YouTube? You too? Yeah? That's for sure. Alright. Where are you going? You leaving me? Alright. Need to cut this up. Cut that up, cut this back a little more, and then that can stand up and get mounted. So it's a little easier to fill without pinking the hose. I'm gonna plate all this in on the side. it in and uh, keep working towards the lights. So with that all sealed up, I can work on closing the side panel up. Got to do an extra spot here for the gas door. And then the other side as well, just a plate there. Finally got that welded in. So I need to close off this little guy. 
do that tomorrow. I'm exhausted. This shit kept catching fire. Same thing over here. It's pretty much done. Just gonna close that off. Then just run my tail light wires. But tomorrow I can clean up all of this goo and paint it. Clean the back windows, paint the back wall. And I can also finish up this inside, tidy it up, tack weld it in, goop it, fix the headliner up. And then uh, put the back seat back in so I'll have a flat storage area, sleeping deck for camping. So there you go. It's coming along. Like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.